Good evening and welcome one and all to my absolutely furious seething Wednesday soiree. Well, they don't know what Omicron is or how harmful it is, but they do know that no one has died or even been hospitalised. But why let a complete lack of knowledge about a seemingly mild new variant get in the way of spoiling Christmas? He's done it again for the second year in a row. Can you believe it? 03444991000. Welcome to Headless Chicken Government, Boris style. Before racking up the mask rules, ordering a return to working from home and worst of all, imposing vaccine passports for the first time. In England, this pusillanimous Prime Minister admitted that the government hasn't got a clue about Omicron, apart from the fact that it spreads quickly. If no one's dying or ended up in hospital, so what? Is this learning to live with the virus? 03444991000. They still haven't told us what the symptoms are, for God's sake. But no one knows this. One thing is for sure. Boris's conveniently timed COVID crackdown will kick the Downing Street party scandal off the front pages. What a handy coincidence for a beleaguered leader who has lost the confidence not only of millions of long-suffering citizens, but also of his own furious Tory MPs. Incredibly, at tonight's number 10 briefing, in a rare break from Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty's stupefying slides, the allegedly libertarian Prime Minister declared that at some point the people of this free democracy may be forced into a national conversation about mandatory vaccines. Yes, as in chemical ab injections by order of the government. How do you feel about that? We need to talk. Call me, 03444991000. And how do you feel about the fact he's wrecked our Christmas for the second year in a row? Possibly just to get a favourable front page. Well, they won't be favourable, Boris. Bad luck with that. Meanwhile, there goes Allegra Stratton, the £130,000 a year Boris Lackey without portfolio. She didn't really have a job anyway. And now, after her sterling efforts to save the planet at that grotesque fast COP26, she can spend more time with her environmentally unfriendly diesel car. The former Guardian reporter sobbed after quitting Downing Street and insisted she would regret her jokey performance at a mock press conference for the rest of her days. Fine, bon voyage, and off you go to write deeply insightful articles for the Bien Pensant Press. It's a familiar old pattern, trust me. But was Miss Stratton's dramatic resignation all part of the plan to protect Boris amid the furious fallout over the Downing Street party's last Christmas? You decide.